Welcome back. Welcome wow. back. Thanks so much for joining us. We have with us in the studio Mike Bishop. And Mike, uh, a lot of people know Mike from the heyday of you had a theater here in Harrison, Arkansas. I did. And you had that for several years, you and your wife. Uh huh. And uh, performing every night. Yes. Bus loads of people and. <laughs> That yes. was that was the good days, wasn't it? Uh, it was the good days. It was the good days. Uh, you know, moved, moved to Harrison back in the seventies. I was talking yeah. to some of the other guests here earlier, and yeah. uh, moved back here back in the seventies. Went to work at Dog Patch USA. Uh huh. Yeah, oh. and yeah. Uh, that's where I met my wife, and we're just about to celebrate thirty nine years together now. So now, did you have a, an act with her? We at did. Dog Patch? We didn't at Dog Patch. We did some entertaining there. Oh, okay. But uh, as we were winding down there at Dog Patch and went into some other things, we produced yeah. a. A show where we worked with a, a stage band. We're here in Harrison for nine years. Yeah. Traveled all over the United States for a number of years and then spent the last uh, nine years in Eureka Springs. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so. And then you you met somebody that uh, you worked on a project that came up with uh, America, an, an American Speaks. That's right. Yeah. What, what's that concept of that? What, where did that come from? Well, Tony Rose is, is uh, and I co-founded an American okay. Speaks. Quite honestly, what we did was we took... Um, uh, 40 years of my experience of traveling around the country and entertaining people. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of contacts to them. A lot of contacts uh -huh. there. Uh, working in the Ozarks, even though we were traveling a lot of those years, we were entertaining here all during that time as well. And Dan, one of the things that we discovered was that, that there was a growing anxiousness in our country about the, di the direction our government's going, our political uh, right. uh, agendas uh -huh. that are out there. But yet, there were, we saw a reduction in participation from just everyday Americans. People were kind of grumbling about things and concerned yeah. about things, but they weren't getting involved. They weren't stepping yeah. up to, to run for office. They weren't stepping up to vote on, on election day. So we took all that, put it together, and have, present, have produced a, an organization called An American Speaks, uh, where we go out, we speak to high schools, we speak to churches and veteran groups, civic clubs, uh, anywhere really that there's an audience where we can inspire them to get more engaged in our in our governmental process to be it's, better it's, citizens. It sounds like it's more of an educational tool for for you to get the uh, make people understand about how government works. Maybe it, it is that that's part of what we do. We go back to uh, the principles that our founding fathers used in writing the Constitution, you know, and establishing uh, early on the the rights and the responsibilities as yeah. citizens of this great nation that we have. Yeah. Um, and then we also maintain on our website and through social media, we keep up with uh, the the current happenings and in the political world out there, try to keep people informed. We have on our website at americanspeaks.com, we have a tremendous resource page where people can go on there and they can find out how to get a hold of legislators, how to keep up with these right, current yeah. events. It's just a great tool. Uh, and we do workshops. We, we go into high schools and we, you know, one of the big voids we have in our electorate today are our young people. Uh, our young folks just aren't getting as engaged as we'd like to see. So we address... Uh, kids that are just now coming of age, getting ready maybe to vote for the very first time. And we share this uh, educational process with them and encourage them to, to do their part and, and take advantage of having the opportunity to participate in what we have here in America. Yeah. I think as our, our, uh, our generation moves forward and, and other generations fall off, we, we forget the, the value of what Americans have with the freedom to vote and the freedom to choose and the freedom to, to, uh, to maybe push uh, agendas of of what we believe as people we, uh, that's being taken away from us in some aspects well it, it, it is and it's uh, it's not so much I think being taken away from us is that we're surrendering it to surrendering them. You know, to, we've yeah. just kind of becoming this the silent majority I like to say a lot of times where we, we go along and we see these things happening but we just don't we don't do our part and and that's all it really requires if everybody just gets educated uh, I have so much confidence and faith in the American people. I know that if, when we get educated and we do our part, participate, we'll fall on the side of right yeah. more than once, and, and we'll make this country a better place. Yeah. What kind of questions do you see, particularly from like high school students? Well, you know, I was surprised at, at uh, in, in the, the, some of the workshops that we've done, some of the questions came out. They're very in tune with a lot of the issues of the day. Uh, they, they, they're concerned about climate change. They're concerned about the social issues that's out there, the different agendas. They're concerned about uh, the national debt, uh, which really impressed me. The frustrating part was when it came down to uh, registering to vote and, and wanting to, be, to participate in it, mm -hmm. the interest seemed to drop. And, uh, Is it because they don't know what to do or they just their lives are too full of... 
there every day, what's, whatever's going on. You know, Dan, I, I don't know that I can answer that yeah. honestly, but yeah. I do think that it, a lot of it is just the, the climate that, uh, that we've created. One thing mm -hmm. is that, uh, that we've discovered is that a lot of our young people get their news, a majority of their news, from uh, the, the late night TV shows, the talk yeah. shows, mm -hmm. the comedy things, Saturday Night Live, yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff. Uh -huh. And that influences their thinking. They don't take it as serious maybe as, as they should. Yeah, and a lot of that is, is there, there's a certain agenda behind some of those comedy skits and routines right. slanted one way or the other uh, just by little words inserted here or there. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, in the old days when I was growing up, we had Walter Gronkite who, who just gave the news. They That's were just right. kind of bare facts, and your opinion was your own, and you, you came to a conclusion either right or wrong, however. Yeah. And that's not the case anymore. There's a lot of opinion out there and a lot of influence on any direction you go. Well, there is, and, you know, uh, we talk about that often, Tony and I do. When I was, uh, was growing up, being a, a child of the 60s, I grew up in northeast Arkansas, close mm -hmm. to Memphis. And that was a really tough time in our nation. You know, we had the Vietnam War. We had the, the, uh, uh, the civil rights actions. Uh, we saw Martin Luther King assassinated 40 miles from my hometown. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Kennedy uh, brothers, you know, we saw a lot of things happening in our country. But I don't remember a time hearing people refer to our president other than president right uh i don't remember a time where we 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 didn't go around singing god bless america every day and all that stuff but we knew without a doubt we lived in the greatest nation sure. on earth yeah. we yeah. had a pride there there was a there was a confidence there that we were safe and secure yeah. and i think to a degree uh, all the the media that we have today kind of does put a, a negative light on that and some folks yeah. just say hey i yeah, i don't want to be involved in the drama part of that i, I understand that You've got some workshops you want to talk about that's coming up? We've got some very neat things that's going on here in the area. Uh, one of the things that we, we have, have prided ourselves in is working with the local ministry efforts and uh, getting reacquainted, uh, reconnected here in Boone County. Mm -hmm. um, there's a group called Bible Reading uh, Ministries International, and that's one of the groups that we work with, and they're staging a Bible reading marathon here in Harrison. It's going to be in Mini Harris Park. Uh, it runs for a week. It starts on April the 28th, and for 12 to 13 hours a day for that time period, they're going to be reading the Bible. They're going to read the entire Bible uh, out loud in Minnie Harris Park. And uh, it culminates with the National Day of Prayer Observance on the Courthouse Square uh, okay. on May the 5th at 530 in the afternoon. But we are looking for folks that are interested in this. If you're interested in participating in it, would like to be a reader or would like to volunteer with this, uh, we have a phone number. It's real simple, uh, 870 Five seven seven five six three three, and we'd love to have you call and sign up with us and come down and, and read the word with us. Okay, that's 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 a great new project. It in the National Day of Prayer observance here in the in the town square. That's so mm -hmm. important, I think, to pulling together a community and yeah. all of our different uh, churches in the area. Good. And then uh, there there's a very special program that I'm kind of excited about. I don't know how many of your viewers will know about it because I didn't know much about it until recently. But the the Arkansas Community Development Foundation, in uh, conjunction with the Nonprofit Alliance, puts on a, a special day. It's called Arkansas Gives. And on Arkansas Gives Day, it's uh, April the 7th, uh, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You can get online, arkansasgives.org, and you can research the different ministries. There's four ministries and, and efforts right here in Boone and Carroll County mm -hmm. that's participating this year. And you can get on there and you can make a donation to them to support their efforts. Then, by the collective donations that are received during the day, uh, makes them eligible for bonus dollars. So it kind of stretches the okay. dollars of, right. of people that are participating. It's ArkansasGives.org. It's a one-day event, uh, April the 7th, and we just sure appreciate people looking at that. And American okay. Speaks was chosen this year as one of the four well, nonprofits yeah, to participate. Yeah. So, uh, put your so, money there if you feel the need to do that. Yeah, if some folks yeah. want to believe in what we're doing and would like to support sure. that, we would appreciate that. And, and your website, again, is... And AmericanSpeaks.com. And AmericanSpeaks.com, yeah. okay. And then the last thing that I'm so excited about, and uh, for all the folks here, this, we've got a great opportunity. You know, Franklin Graham, uh, Billy Graham's yeah. son, is doing a national tour. He's visiting all state capitals in the, in the United States. And I think it's the 14th stop on his tour is in Little Rock on April the 12th. Mm -hmm. And what he's doing is he will be speaking at the state capitol, holding a prayer rally. His... His agenda is not, again, to promote any particular party or candidate, but just to ask people to pray for our government, pray for our nation coming into this election cycle. And it's a historic event for Arkansas. And uh, we've put together a bus tour. It'll be leaving out of Harrison uh, early in the morning of, on the 12th. 
And we we're going to drive to Little Rock. We're going to stop and have some coffee and donuts or cinnamon rolls down at Ferguson's. And then we're going to go down and do the prayer rally, have lunch on the way back. Mm -hmm. Priced it very, very affordably at $50 a person just to cover the cost of the trip. And so if people are interested in that, visit our website. We'd love to have you join okay. us on that. We do still have some seats available on the bus, and uh, we've got a second bus reserved if we need it. Okay. So Sounds like a good uh, day trip. Oh, it would be a great day yeah. trip. So, And how do they sign up for that? Uh, if they visit our, our website at, at americanspeaks.com, uh, uh, there's a little button on there. They can click right through, or they okay. can give us a call. Our phone numbers are on the okay. website. So. All right. Well, Mike, thanks so much for dropping by. And we have an open invitation for you to come back to update us as you move along and tell us how your organization is progressing and, Man, and I, some other great events that, that happen in and around our viewing area so our viewers can find out about it. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate all the, all the support y'all have given this community over the years. You do a great job. Well, here. we appreciate you. Glad to reconnect with everybody. Thanks, Mike. Thank Good you. Good to see you. Up next, we have Jesse Carocchio. He's from KCMH Radio, and he's t here to talk about Shareathon 2016. We'll do that right after this.